I am Krishna Bhairai Gowda. I am a member of uh, Karnataka Legislative Assembly from one of the constituencies in Bangalore city. Our cities consume a lot of environmental resources, but our cities can also produce and give back to environment a lot of resources. If we look at cities creatively and see how we can convert problems into solutions, uh, miraculously some solutions do emerge. For instance, in our constituency, there are many lakes. These are hundreds of years old. However, due to scant rainfall in the last 20-30 years, most of the lakes had been dry. Over the last 7-8 years, step by step, we have built small sewerage treatment plants by the lakes and managed to fill about 20 lakes in our constituency using sewage water. So these are treated to secondary level and the treated water is let into the lakes which in turn goes to recharge the badly depleted groundwater table in the city areas which can be used for construction and which can be used for any non-portable uh, requirement. H hence, reducing the water requirement of the city itself. Instead of drawing all the fresh water, we can reduce our dependence on fresh water and reuse the water resources that we are already drawing from various other sources. Based on this experience in our constituency of treating sewage water and filling up the empty lakes, the government in Karnataka between 2013 and 2018 looked at Bangalore and also looked at the surrounding areas around Bangalore. Now Bangalore draws a lot of fresh water from the Kaveri Lake and a lot of that gets converted into sewage and flows out of Bangalore without properly being reused. At the same time, if you look at villages and towns around Bangalore, due to the consecutive drought over the last 20 years, the water tables have depleted, farmers are unable to grow their crops, livelihoods are affected. Since agricultural prospects were becoming bleak year after year, due to the reducing rainfall and reducing water availability, there is a lot of migration from villages to a city like Bangalore, enhancing the already complex problems of a city like Bangalore. If we can revive agriculture, if we can improve the ground table, and if you, we can, to some extent, reduce the impact of consecutive drought in the rural areas, then we can actually solve some of the problems in Bangalore by preventing migration. And also the sewage that is flowing out of Bangalore, if it is treated and pumped into the lakes that are present in plenty of numbers in many of the villages surrounding Bangalore, uh, in the districts surrounding Bangalore, it would revive agriculture, it would recharge the groundwater, uh, it will create livelihood opportunities, and it can revive the whole rural economy and lives also. Keeping this in mind, the government decided to take up several projects worth about two and a half thousand crores to take the treated water from Bangalore and pump it to hundreds of lakes around uh, uh, Bangalore in, in many of the rural areas, in, in, in many of the villages surrounding uh, Bangalore. So we have taken up uh, Koromangala Challagatta, KC in short, valley project, which is pumping water to about 150 lakes in the first phase. In the second phase, we expect that that project will support about another 250 lakes. So this could dramatically change the scenario in a district like Kolar, which has been consecutively a drought hit. And we are already witnessing a, a quiet transformation, a revolutionary transformation in the rural livelihoods. For, uh, many of the youth who are in Bangalore 
doing very low level unskilled jobs have now gone back to villages to take up agriculture, to take up floriculture, horticulture, dairy farming, sericulture. Uh, many of the water guzzling eucalyptus plantations are being removed and our, those fields are being converted into agriculture and horticulture. Uh, villages which were becoming de facto old age homes with many of the youth migrating to city. Now we are seeing a reversal of youth going back from city and taking up agriculture again. Uh, it has created tremendous opportunities for fisheries activity. Each lake can give employment to about five people in every village. So the economic potential, the agricultural potential, uh, the food security potential and the livelihood uh, uh, opportunity creation and also the revival of the village society itself are, are issues whose impacts we will feel, I think, over the next several decades. If we look at the challenges going forward, climate change being the primary challenge we face, and if droughts are going to be a recurring phenomenon, and with water scarcity likely to be a permanent part of our society and our lives, we need to look at water very creatively and we need to find all ways of not only optimally using water but also reusing water not just once, twice but several times. So as we look to the future, as we look to cope with climate change, I think water and the water consumed and produced by the city in the, fa in, the, in the form of used water, we need to very closely look at this as a very valuable resource and see how we can reuse every drop of used water produced by cities. And this can go a long way in solving the problems of uh, areas around the city. So hence, city being a produce instead of being a producer of sewage instead of being a producer of environmental pollution can actually produce a very valuable resource that can help a lot of people around so we can have, all we need to do is look at the problems creatively and see how we can use a challenge to solve a problem around us and and solutions will come forward